Hello, and welcome to the Experimental Photographer. Today, we will be creating a physiogram, physi for short, also called a spirograph. Physiograms create these beautiful circular patterns using motion and light, classic light painting. So creating a fizzy is actually quite easy. All you have to do is connect a small light to a string and then connect the string to a ceiling. Then you give the light a good swing in a circular motion, kind of like a pendulum. The camera is set up below, pointing straight up. Then you open the camera's shutter for a long exposure. A typical fizzy takes a few minutes to form. All right, here we are in my ad hoc little studio. We have all our ingredients for our experiment. We have our light source. We have some tape to help prepare the light source. We have a camera all ready for long exposure photography. We have our tripod. I use a little one so I can get low to the ground. And you can see I have my point for attaching the light to the ceiling. Light source. I find that a medium small flashlight seems to work the best, but you could probably use key chain lights or, you know, whatever. You just gotta make sure that it has a small opening because you want the light to be small, like pin sized. If you're using a flashlight, you will be putting tape all over it and modifying it so, so we can get that pin light. Anyhow, this is my setup of flashlights. Tape, gotta have tape, blue tape. One of the light painter's best friends. If you don't have a custom pin light to hang for your fizzy, then chances are you will be uh, piecing something together with tape. <laughs> anyway, camera set to bulb mode and with a remote trigger so I can lock it in bulb mode. Finally, tripod. I suppose any tripod will work, but I use one of these little guys for fizzies. You can see I have it set pointing straight up, which it's going to need to be to capture the fizzy. So to create the fizzy, we need to make a pinhole out of this um, torch. I have a few different modifications that I made here, but the most basic will be to just um, cover the front of this torch with several layers of tape, blue tape in my case, and then poking a hole in the middle, a pretty small hole. As you can see on this modified piece, that's a small hole. This is just a universal connector that I um, taped tin foil to and made the hole. Kind of a semi-permanent thing that I can just grab anytime I want. And then I made this even better design here, which is actually a piece of um, PVC pipe, an end cap that I drilled a hole in and shoved a little um, LED um, lens from, a, from an LED Christmas light. Anyway, so those are the options there. So next you're going to need to connect a piece of string to your flashlight. Did I mention that you need string? <laughs> so um, about a five to six foot length of string is best. Anyway, as you can see, I taped it to my flashlight here, my torch, and I did it in a way where it will uh, hang very straight down, like it's not lopsided to one side. A lot of flashlights have these leashes on them or connections for leashes, but they're always off to the side. So I find that I have to do that just to get it to center. Otherwise, it won't swing properly. It'll swing kind of wobbly. All right, so here we are all set up to do a physiogram. I have my camera set up on the tripod facing straight up and directly above it I have my light hanging all set up with my light painting brushes universal connector there. A few modifications of my own. My flashlight hanging from the 
ceiling. Anyway, it's all ready to go. All we have to do is wait for nighttime. <laughs> Did I mention this is done at night? In total darkness, so it may um, pay to rehearse it a few times during the day before you do it in the dark. All right, we're all set to go. And since it's still daytime, we're just going to do a dry run right now to give you an example of how a fizzy is created. So I would start <clears throat> by turning on the light and giving it a nice swing, just like that. Let it go for about four revolutions before I come down here and start the camera. And then basically just sit there and let it do its thing. I like to count, for a good full physiogram, I like to count 100 to 125 revolutions. So try not to get hypnotized while you're sitting there in the dark for five minutes counting that. Okay, well there it is. That's how you make a physiogram. I'm sure I missed a ton of details, um, as this is my first video doing this, and it's very hastily put together, but feel free to ask me questions in the comments below, and I will fill in the details. Thank you. Okay, bonus footage. It's just about dark. My wife and daughter are still out on their girls' day adventure, so I am going to create a fizzy. I had the exact same setup that I had that I showed you earlier. The camera is about two feet away from the light. I have a 14 millimeter lens set at, normally I'd set it at 16, but I'm going to open it up a little so we can see the result in this shot, hopefully on my, on my little phone there. <laughs> anyway, so we're all set up. Um, thing I wanted to demonstrate real quickly, it's a good idea to, if you're going to do a lot of light painting, to uh, get accustomed to messing with your equipment in the dark without being able to see it. Just to demonstrate, you can uh, put it on the tripod without looking. It's hard at first, but after a few tries you get used to it. And it makes life a lot easier. I've opened up the camera a little to f11. Normally I would shoot at f16 or f22 because the light is, for the most part, facing straight down into the camera. Uh, I'm going to take the lens cap off. I'm going to turn on the light. And I'm just going to do a short fizzy because I don't know what kind of video my phone can capture until the darkness here. <laughs> so anyway, short but sweet. I have my fizzy light going. I'm going to give it a good swing. I'm going to let it go four revolutions just to get it to settle in. And I start my photo. <clears throat> I try and start the um, start the capture or, or take the lens cap off right when the when the um, light is is um, closest to the camera. It tends to hide the end lines a little bit. So, just to give an example, um, this is uh, one revolution, two, three revolutions, and so forth. In the capture here, just so we can see what we got, hopefully we got something. There's that, turning off the camera. And hopefully you can see that fizzy in there. It's a short one, but just to give you an idea of how it worked, there we go. Live fizzy. Thank you. Great time.